Hey, Jill. Hey, Barry. This is awesome. We've got Jill back with us for another installment of the RV Rundown. Today, we're coming at you from the Southern RV sales lot inside of a new 2022 Venture RV 333 VIK. It's a sport track. The IK stands for Island Kitchen. And this is a big travel trailer. It's three slides. It weighs nearly 8,700 pounds dry. And it's got a lot of really, really cool features. I consider this to be like the tailgater trailer. <laughs> I think it's really cool. So let's get started right here in the kitchen. I think there's a lot of great things going on here. You notice Jill and I came out of two doors. We'll get to that in a second, but let's talk about this island kitchen for a second here. Yeah, you have plenty of counter space. Um, even though it's in the island, you have plenty of space here. You still have space here for a coffee maker, ice maker, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Plenty of storage on both up top and underneath. Um, great counter space. The glass through the glass stove top over a three burner yeah. stove, oven down beneath. Microwave up top. Again, more storage. Storage is the name of the game. We do have a Furion 12 volt refrigerator. So this is gonna be an electric refrigerator, not the gas electric type. But these cool down super quick and run off just a minimal amount of battery power. And speaking of battery power, this is equipped with solar. Right up on the roof, we've got a big panel. And in addition to that, we've got a 30 amp charge controller. So that's gonna be enough to really keep our battery topped off, especially on those sunny days. The island has a giant stainless steel single basin sink with yes. that nice little cover there for draining off. Plenty of storage down below in the form of drawers. We love that. Lots of them. Even space underneath the sink where you could potentially put a little trash can if you wanted to. And then we've included this kind of extending into our living room. Yes. We have a dinette that can convert into a bed. It's got some storage down below. I think that's cool because Venture actually provides us with these Tupperware trays. Yeah, a lot of people love these. Instead yep. of it just being a space under there, you can pull it out and then push it in. Yep, very convenient, easier to organize. You don't have to reach all the way to the back right. to grab stuff. And then we have a nice sized couch with theater seating stylings to it. Those are actually recliners, aren't they? Yes, these are recliners and it actually has a centerpiece that folds down, two cup holders, and then you also have charging ports here and USB port. Um, this heat and vibrates, so um, you can get a nice little massage and heated. It's right here in front of the TV, so it's still a great um, view of the TV and everything. You have your radio control underneath here, still some storage. Um, your fireplace puts out heat enough to fill up this space just fine then on the side over here you also have great hanging storage i love that that's right by our entryway right um and then right above that is your control panel this is where you will control your slide outs your awnings uh your water heater all that is right here your lights um, this is also where you will keep track of your battery life for your solar yeah and I like that they put it up nice and high out of the way of prying children's hands. Right. <laughs> but it is very convenient because as soon as you come through the door, you can click those lights on. Right. Now, when we first opened up, we popped out of these two doors behind them. On this side, we have a half bath. So this is a bath and a half unit. So this the full bath is actually up by the master. We'll get into that in a bit. But as you can see, the half bath has its own entry to the outside a nice foot flush toilet, a medicine cabinet for extra storage in there. It's, it's pretty loaded out. I love the fact that if we are tailgating, seeing a game or something like that, people can pop in from the outside and we're not draining off all that AC off the main unit. Now behind the other door, we have our bunkhouse. Now this bunkhouse is kind of cool. They've done something a little bit different back here. It's, it's kind of L shaped and we have a jackknife sofa and above that we have a fold down bunk so this is essentially becomes a full-size bed with a twin bed up above it mm -hmm. they've taken advantage of the dead space by throwing in some coat hooks on the wall just giving us a place to hang a few things up we have a small bed down low more storage because you're gonna need it for all the kids and fam that are back here a bunk up high 
And notice that they put USB chargers all around here as well, and a spot to hook up a TV back here if you so chose to. They did another thing which I think is kind of interesting, is right across from the couch on the wall, we have what looks to be like a little laptop or computer desk or maybe a little spot where you can sit down and write. I don't know exactly what they chose to do that for, but it does fill in that dead wall space quite nicely. If you didn't want to use that, we actually have a table that can plug into the floor here. It's hiding up under that couch. Mm -hmm. Now, there's a bathroom up front that we haven't taken a look at yet, so let's wander up that way. Okay. As we were saying, this is a bath and a half model. As you'll see Jill open it up there. This yes. is where your full bathroom is. And it's a pass-through. Notice that we have another door there that's gonna go right into our main bedroom. I love the fact that this has a very traditional style up here as far as travel trailers go. And we're in 50 amp service. So this has two air conditioners. It's going to be, one of them's direct dump right into this room here, which is actually gonna be really nice. And in addition to that, we have the ability to hook up a TV in here too. It's gonna to be over in the far corner. Yep. And we have some pretty traditional storage both left and right. Yeah, nice hanging storage, it's mm -hmm. very deep. Yeah, very deep. Shelving up top. And then they pulled all of that forward off the wall and given us some nightstands on either side with plugs so that we can hook up our phone at the end of the day. There's also underbed storage, is strut assisted. Let's lift that up and show them. Plenty of space. Plenty of space, lots of space there. And something that Venture does with their units that I think is kind of cool is they've given us this reversible comforter. I know a lot of people are gonna personalize this, but I think that's a nice touch because it gives you a couple of options right off the bat on that first camping trip. Right. Now that's not everything. We definitely wanna show you what's outside and why I consider this to be a tailgater's dream. It's not <laughs> just the stuff that's in the back, the amount of people that it can sleep, but this has a pretty cool outside kitchen setup too. So let's pop out there. Having hey. two outside doors is pretty cool. Yes. As we were saying earlier, being able to step up into that bathroom without tracking through the RV is kind of a big deal for a lot of folks. Absolutely. Let's pop up front because this thing has a pretty big pass through storage. I wanna point out too, that we have slam latches and magnetic catches. So opening and closing these things is a breeze and the baggage doors are insulated as well. We have a big electric awning on here. It's huge, it's powered from a switch that's inside and we have an LED light bar built into the awning tube so it can be pointed up or down just depending on what the mood is at the end of the day. Solid entry steps by step above a cool little bottle opener by the door there. And then we come to the back and we have this big outside kitchen. Yes, huge. Um, you have him and her or... <laughs> booze and not booze? Booze and not booze refrigerator. They're very, very nice size. Usually you would get a smaller refrigerator in most outdoor kitchens, but with this one you actually get a pretty large size refrigerator on either side. Um, it also comes with this griddle, which is really nice um, sink. Lots of storage in here. Little drawers. Drawers, yep. yeah. Shelf up above. Yep. And we passed it, but there is a spot to hook up a TV outside. It's just down on the wall underneath the awning on the other side of our entry door. And then last but not least, they put two LP outs down here. That means that we can have two gas stove powered things running at once, whether it be the griddle and some kind of gas powered grill or maybe you have a second griddle that you like to run. I don't know, but you have that option. Yeah. It's right there, they built it in. I think that's pretty slick. Overall, I think this is great for a big family. Yes, absolutely. Or even for folks that, like we were saying earlier, tailgating. want to tailgate, that's right. right. Because you can come out, you can have the whole family, you can be hosting outside and in. It's overall a really cool floor plan. You should really see it for yourself in person here at Southern RV. We're just south of Atlanta in McDonough off of I-75. You can also check it out online at southernrv.com. And as always, guys, until next time, happy, happy camping. camping.